Our lesson today is on the rules for ministers, and today's miracle of the gospel of raising the young man from the coffin. This saying is trustworthy, is so unique and unlike any others that the later Western manuscripts show it as, quote, this saying is popular, close quote, and the title of bishop was rep replaced with the literal overseer. This first reading cautions that those who aspire to lead the community that they aspire to great responsibility. The qualifications for the position of bishop during the second century were personal stability and graciousness, a talent for teaching, to have moderation in all habits, but most especially where it relates to the love of money, the public consum con consumption sorry, of alcoholic beverages, and to the expression of temper, both public and private, and to having a good temperament, for example, being gentle, kind, and a good mediator and negotiator. He must also have strong managerial abilities and display such in the management of his ch children and his own home. I will note here, though, that only an unmarried man living communally with other men would think or believe that a man managed this, the household. This is fully the woman's task, the wife's job. No man does this. Any person wishing to be named to a bishopric would be experienced in Christian living. In other words, they wouldn't be newly converted to the church, for these wouldn't know to counsel the proper practices, the correct and true methods of how Christians live with one another when disputes arise. Moreover, the candidate's previous life must provide no grounds for any charge that he did not previously practice what he now preaches, kind of like what current politicians don't do. The devil's punishment has two possible meanings. One, the punishment incurred by the devil, or two, a punishment brought about by the devil. It is dependent upon the position or case of the word devil. In the first case, the objective is genitive. In the second case, the subjective is genitive. In the first case, the, position, the punishment is incurred by the devil. The devil is objective. In the second case, the devil is bringing the punishment. The devil is subjective. It is all about how you put the possession. No pun intended. <laughs> Sorry, my mother was an English teacher. Deacons, besides possessing the virtue of moderation, are to be outstanding for their faith and well respected within the community. Women in the same role, in other words, women deacons, must be dignified, temperate, de dedicated, and not given to malicious tale telling, in other words, gossiping. Deacons must have shown stability in their marriage and have a good record with their families, for such experience prepares them well for the exercise of their ministry on behalf of the community. The same is true for the women deacons. Please note that bishops and deacons all can be married, but can, but can be married only once. In the gossip, gospel, Jesus' power is displayed toward a widowed mother who has lost her only child, a son who is dead in the funeral procession procession going past the Lord. Jesus' power over the dead prepares for his reply to John's disciples in verse 22. Quote, 
the dead are already raised. This resuscitation is alluding to the prophet Elijah's res resurrection of the only son of the widow of Zarephath in 1 Kings 7, 8-24, and leads to the reaction of the crowd, quote, A great prophet has arisen in our midst. The learned members of the crowd would immediately know Elijah, and the rest would recall it from their years at synagogue, hearing the story of Elijah being told out as part of the Pentateuch. That this action of the Lord evokes exactly the story of Elijah, the great prophet, in its imagery and actions is no accident. Now as you go forth through your daily lives, look for Christ. Look for places where he is present to you. Look where you have tried to make him and your faith apparent to nudge yourself. Like I have psalms I love on my calendar. And I have other psalms copied and posted on my refrigerator and on my cupboards. At times they are invisible, just scenery, and I don't see them. But at other times, snap, they are present to me, and I see them and reflect upon them. Find those areas in your life and start to become more aware of Christ and your faith present to you each day. And I wish you the peace of the Lord Jesus Christ every day, always, in each of your lives.